everyone my name is sanya mahajan i am a legal intern in lexlex company and today's topic of mine is consumer protection act 1986 and here is the introduction to it the industrial revolution and the development in the international trade and commerce has led to the vast expansion of business and trade as a result of which variety of consumer goods have been appeared in the market and to cater the needs of the consumers and the host of the service have been available to the consumer thus there is for that there is a consumer protection act the basic object of the consumer protection act was to seek provide uh for better protection to the consumers interest and for purpose to make provision relating to the establishment of the consumer council and other authorities for the settlement of the there are the objectives related to it under the consumer protection act the firstly that is the right to be protected against the marketing of goods which are hazardous to life and the rights to be informed about the quality quantity potential uh, of the good purity standard against the unfair trade practices and thirdly there is the right to be assured whether the possible access to authority of goods are at competitive price or not the right to be heard and to be assured that the consumers have interest with will, will receive due to consideration at appropriate forums then the right to seek redressal against the unfair trade practices then there is the right to education related to this goods and services this bill consumer protection bill 1986 was passed by both the houses of the parliament and it was received and the assets of the president uh, on 24 december 1986 and it came on the statute books at the consumer protection act in 1986 and consumer protection act redressal agencies have been provided under this act that is the consumer protection redressal forum that is the district forum consumer dispute disputes redressal commission that is the state commission and third is the national consumer redressal commission that is the national commission we are going to discuss about the jurisdiction of the forums and the different commissions firstly there is a district forum which deals with the disputes related to the consumer protection amounted to up to that is rupees 20 lakh secondly there is a state commission which deals with the dispute which amount to rupees 20 lakh and below 1 crore and national commission which deals with the dispute which is above 1 crore about the various redressal agencies under the consumer protection act firstly there is a district forum it shall consist of person who is or has been qualified to be a district judge and as its president and two other members one of whom shall be a woman and every member of the district forum shall be in office for a term period of 5 years and in a state commission it is established by the state government by giving a notification in an official gazette and it has the right to entertain or appeals against the order of the district forum within the state and thirdly there is a national commission it shall consist of the person who has been judge of the supreme court as its president and not less than four or more person can be uh, appointed as in a national commission and one of whom shall be a woman every member of the national commission shall hold the office for the term period of 5 years and up to the age of 70 years whichever is earlier and there is uh, the list of amendments related to the consumer protection act 1986 and that is uh, it was further amended in 1991 then the consumer protection amendment act 1993 and further the recent present uh, amendment is done in 2002 and with this uh, we are all done with the consumer protection act 1986 and if you need any information related to it please to write in a comment section and please to subscribe this channel let's click